The other day I went to the fishing pier and I overpaid for a fishing spoon. $10 for one spoon and I bought two of them. No matter where you get them, fishing lures these days are not very cheap. And for years I've been thinking about how simple of a lure the spoon is. It's just kind of a spoon. Today we are going to be doing some science. Here's the game plan. We are going to try to find out if you could take a normal household kitchen spoon that you eat your Cheerios with, turn it into a fishing spoon lure, go fishing with it, and actually get a fish to eat it. Can we actually build one? Will it actually work? Can we teach these overpriced spoons a lesson? Let's go get supplies. All right, so the theme here is saving money. What better place than the Dollar Tree? I'm pretty sure they have spoons here. All right, we got spoons. We also now have sour octopus. How do we get this to be a fishing lure? We did some Googling. i done some research. You guys remember when I bought this? If you didn't see that video, we did like a DIY bait sucker to like suck bait out of the sand. We, we got to use that here soon. So yeah, man, here's basically all the stuff we need. I'm hoping that this works. I think we can make two different lures out of this. This up here kind of looks like the normal fishing spoon. And then this down here could also be like a, if you guys ever seen like a deadly dick lure, this could get interesting as well. So all we're going to do is cut this right here. <laughs> One right there and one right there. This already, I mean, tell me that doesn't already look like a freaking fishing spoon. This is going to drill a hole right there and a hole right there. One side is going to be the side we tie our line on and a swivel. And the other side, we're just going to put a split ring and a hook. Let's see if this works. All right, so hey, check this out. This is honestly, like I've been all over the place today. We've been doing some learning, so we've got these are the spoons we were using from the Dollar Tree. I figured in case these were just like really tough spoons, we got a different spoon, but I've also been learning about drill bits. I didn't know it could be this complicated. So when you're drilling into stainless steel, it is like a whole process that I did not even know about. These are a little thicker, these ones from the Dollar Tree for whatever reason. And look at this spoon right here, man. That is going to make the sickest, get out of here, Nat. That's gonna make the sickest lure if we could figure this out. So I don't know if y'all can see that. I couldn't really drill through this i'm pretty sure i freaked up my drill bits we've got the right ones now i hope i'm just gonna see if this works these feel a little bit thinner too all right never said spoon making was easy did it take us all day to make one lure maybe it's not about how long it took it is about how effective and how cool it would be if we caught a fish on this lure all right so let's get a quick close up of this thing right here. Basically all we did, we drilled a hole on this side and on this side, put a split ring, split ring and on this side. There is a swivel and down here we have a treble. So there we go, man. That is our homemade rig. I will say this was definitely more of a pain in the butt than I freaking thought it was going to be. I am pretty curious though how uh, this thing's going to look in the water. All right, y'all, here we go. We are back out at the fishing pier. Now, if you guys saw the last video that we filmed out here, it was the other day. It was so much nicer out. It is kind of chilly today, man. It's like low 50s, like 20 degrees colder than it was the other day. So I don't know if the bite's still gonna be on, but here is our lure, man. I feel like a little kid at show and tell. I'm proud of our fishing spoon. So we got this rigged up a certain way. It's actually windy as well as cold, which is gonna be pretty fun. So basically we got the spoon on a leader. And then up here we have a swivel and a little uh, weight just to get it down because I don't think this will sink very well. I don't know, man. We're going to go out there. We have another rod. Got some bait as well. So it's just going to be a nice chilly day here at the freaking pier and we're just going to see what we could do. I don't know. Again, every day of fishing is different. It was warm the other day. We were doing good fishing. Hopefully today we could get something. All right. <laughs> it's freaking chilly, man. I don't know how many people are honestly going to be out there. I don't know if you guys can see. We're in long sleeves, sweatpants. I haven't even looked at this. Dude, look at how many scales are on this from the other day. If you guys haven't seen that video, epic day of pier fishing. Let's pay our entrance fee. Let's get to work. How's it going, man? Just one for fishing. Appreciate it. Oh yeah, much, much different day. We got the wind thing flying around up there. You see these flags are going. It's just a completely different vibe. Not really anybody out on the beach. The wind is coming from this way pretty darn strong. Kinda chilly, man. I do see some people out here fishing though. We're gonna see, man. You never freaking know. Ooh, ooh. Man, look at that. Oh yeah, okay, this side is looking pretty, uh, pretty dirty. Just so pretty. Oh, there's somebody metal detecting over there. Got a chopper in the air. Any luck? Yeah, got the pipe. Everybody's fixing on this side. Oh yeah? I on that side, and I caught like five whitings. Whiting, nice. Heck yeah, have a good one. I think one of the things I love most about like pier fishing 
is just like the community aspect of it. Like everybody's just, you know, chilling and wants to help each other out for most people at least. Woo, dude, that wind is like ripping right through my clothing. We're gonna do some observing. What's that bird? Hey, what's up? Good to meet you, man. Thanks for watching. All right, all right, this is good. This is good. Appreciate it. Again, thank you to everybody who says what's up, man. So freaking cool. So, first guy I talked to said he caught some whiting. Dude, look at this. There's a big bird. Shout out to Alfredo, though, man. He just came by and said what's up. He said that there are still some bluefish around. So, that is good news for our spoon endeavors. How y'all doing? Any luck? Yeah, you gotta meet your celebrity. What's up, man? So I made uh, a spoon out of a spoon, <laughs> like, like a cereal spoon. I'm going to try it out. You think they'll hit that? I've never seen it with the weight, but you might keep yeah. it down. Yeah, I put the weight on there because it's like super light. Oh, no, that wind is blowing. Yeah, I was figuring because the wind is going yeah. crazy. I'm going to try it. Tighten up that drag. Oh, he's got one. Okay. All right. Hey, what's up, man? What's up, bro? How you doing? I do catch anything i was just showing him dude look at the spoon i made it out of a like a spoon <laughs> just want to see what it looks like oh that looks pretty interesting <laughs> i see him chasing you As y'all saw in the recent pier fishing video, this time of the year, Spanish mackerel and bluefish are around the pier and they love to chase shiny lures. So this should be a perfect time for our spoon. Oh, that looks so good. All right, so it is confirmed there are blues around. And also, this actually looks pretty darn good, man. When I'm jigging it, it has a ton of flash to it. More than I thought, honestly. And then on this side where I can actually like let it sink and then retrieve it, dude, it looks like a freaking spoon, man. It's just cool, man. There are fish being caught, even with this weather not you know, being super optimal. I'm just happy I caught the Spanish the other day because I think they're not around or maybe deeper or i don't know what just because it got colder so it might have been a small window for them but these blues are still here man oh this looks so good dude i'm really it it's got this crazy spoon flash it's just a little light we'll see here i might put a heavier sinker on or a little egg weight whatever you want to call it just to get this down a little bit more dude it looks so good as i'm reeling it in like this One just kissed it. Oh, did you see all I'm following? Holy crap, there's so many. Come on, eat the spoon. Oh, I see that, yeah. There you go. I can't believe, I, dude. I've had two hit it, but I can see it happening. Like it's just it's so shiny. Cause when you threw it earlier, I just saw it fluttering in the water. Yeah, no, it looks good and shiny. Like look at it out there. You see that? You can't ask for more flooded than that, man. That, that's beautiful. I like how you did the weight though. You're keeping it right under the surface. Yeah. Why don't you try going a little bit left? Cause we were killing it like this more at this side. And the next time you gotta make a fork. A fork. <laughs> <laughs> then a knife. Let's see. Oh, this is so much better.
Dude, this looks good, man. This seriously looks like a legit spoon. I'll show you guys here in a little bit the action. I just want to see, man. Stuff, what's going on? It kind of slowed down a little bit here. Oh. Dude, I think we got bit. Like 10, like whole school, <laughs> two of them just bumped me. I casted this thing like so many times. Everybody around me was catching fish left and right. With the wind and the height of the pier, it made fishing the spoon like a bit challenging. I wasn't done with the spoon. The job wasn't finished. But right now I kind of want to hop in the fun and unleash on some blues. All right, it has been a struggle here. We're going to put the spoon down for a sec and hold faithful back on. If you guys haven't seen the last video, it just went bonkers these lures all right let's see how many casts this takes i've thrown over 100 i'll tell you with the freaking spoon man oh my god they're already on it <laughs> that's crazy first cast without the spoon <laughs> dude I, I think the spoon is bad luck dude i'm not even joking oh that's not a bad fish Oh really? Oh, you saw the yeah. Here we go. I've um, hot and eaten. I've already lost one too. Reel it in, reel it in, reel it in with the reel. Oh man. If you watch YouTube, you can see his videos. He has fishing videos. I mean, come on, but you're gonna, which one's better? You gotta pick now, fall or fire? Uh, the shooting. No way. Why? What is it that you like about fresh? It's not a bad fish. I'm not mad at you. My thing about Dude, I had two on there. <laughs> Kind of popping off out there right now. Which, like, I'm not gonna lie, that's fun. I was having a blast the other day. We, dude, if you haven't seen the last video, we were out here. Spanish blues, like every freaking, it was crazy. I saw one Spanish though today. It says mostly blues, and they wouldn't eat my spoon. I still have hope, but I think we want to move in a little closer. We're just gonna test some things out and just see 
what else is around? The sun came out. It's actually, look, look at this, man. It's looking pretty nice out here. It's getting a little bit warmer. I gotta switch these out, man. I am not a fan of treble hooks, especially with bluefish. It's like a disaster waiting to happen. So yeah, we're gonna go take the walk, go in a little bit shallower. Again, we've got this bucket full of shrimp. Might as well use it, right? Dude, I threw so many times and we got hit like three or four times with the spoon. Again, it's just cool that we made it and I'm gonna treasure that thing. What's up, bird? I just, uh, I don't know, man. I mean, did y'all you, saw that? Right when we switched lures, instant hit. All right. Let's put our stuff down here. Let's see what we can do. So again, we got a bucket full of live shrimp. Let's get one. Oh my gosh. <laughs> full of thick live shrimp. Basically, we just have a tiny little circle hook right there. I'm just going to put that through the horn of this shrimp. This is just a fish finder rig. We got a little swivel, four ounce pyramid sinker right near this pile. See how that does. Again, you never know. Honestly, I might take this plug we were throwing. Let's around here, see if anybody's a little bit shallower. Maybe there's a blue or two hanging out. Oh. FWC out here checking coolers. There are blues in this room. There's blues up here too. <laughs> Just got hit on this. There he is, man. The man. Oh. There we go. There we go. Oh, that's a little bit better, actually. Yeah, there's blues up here too, near the surf. Dude, that's a that's actually good. I think that's a blue, right? Oh yeah, that's a dude, that's like a solid bluefish. <clears throat> oh, it just got off. Hey, you saw that? There we go. There we go. Yep, they're up here. For sure. I wonder if I freaking threw my I might throw my spoon over here. Dude, dude, there's three with him. Oh my gosh. That's a good size one too. Oh, it came off right there. They're liking this freaking lore, man. These people are so, I don't even know the word for it. You see this guy right there? I don't know if you guys ever seen that before. It's paramotoring or something. Oh, there's one right behind me. Oh my God, it's right behind me. Basically, these guys have a freaking overpowered fan on their back and they fly. <laughs> it's crazy. Get another one to bite this dude this is fun man it's really cool because up here especially this water is a little bit different i could see them sun came out wind chilled out got fwc checking people's coolers i was just talking to somebody they said the other day somebody got a ticket or a couple tickets i'm guessing for eighteen hundred dollars because they didn't keep the right size fish there's one there's one Dude, he's got freaking friends with him too. I keep losing him. Let's see. I keep losing him right at the bottom of the pier here. All right, there we go. Boom. Kind of 
kind of a weird day at the pier. We had a bunch of shrimp too. Nothing wanted to bite those. It was fun, but we did not quite get the job done. So today we are back out here at this really cool spot. Look at these palm trees, man. We got some water over here. It's a really nice area. I've never been here before. I don't know how I've never been here before. It's so nice. Today is a day, man. We are going to attempt yet again to catch a fish on the lure that we created. And today we are not stopping until we do it. Oh my, dude, look at this boat. All right. See if we can get down here without breaking our freaking foot again. Oh heck yeah! All right. Let's see if anything's going on here first. We got a fish on right there. Hello? Hello? Look, we got something. Oh, we got something, baby. I think. Oh, yeah. What is that? What is that? What is this? Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, we got bluefish. Again, this is my first time ever fishing around this area. It looked like there possibly was some current where there'd be some of these dudes. All right, this is never fun. Boom. This is sick. All right, let's see what else is here, Red. Boom. One of these dudes. Let's see if there's another one. That possibly could have just been a stray fish, just kind of, you know, solo doloing it out here. But if there's some dudes out here, man, we're about to switch to our spoon. This is kind of like our search bait. And if this works, you already know what's about to happen. I just, I want to catch one on that spoon so bad. The more this tide picks up, it is pretty low right now. It's still not moving too quick. The more it, you know, starts moving and grooving, I think might be better for us too. It's just a good feeling to at least get one fish though. Especially like brand new spot, you know, can't get much better than that. All right, all right, all right, all right. So that was more than I needed to see, honestly. Dude, there's lots of choppers flying around. We are gonna break back out our spoon. There she is. This is gonna be cool because you guys can actually get a view of how it looks in the water. I don't really get y'all a good view of it. It's just the thing is, right right now, it seems like uh, the bait fish, these fish are definitely feed on are smaller, and I think they're skinnier than this. So, not exactly matching the hatch. I don't know. You know, I, I, I don't know, I don't know. We're gonna give it a shot. The other day when we tried to fish with this, it was just weird, right? Oh, there's a cannonball jelly down there. That day was a lot colder and uh, it's a lot windier. There were still fish around, but I mean, the wind was just whipping so hard that we were trying to use different techniques, you know, to try to keep this thing down a little bit. Today, we might just be able to fish it like it's meant to be fished. Let's see. All right, let's see if I can showcase the technique here. See that? All right, hold on. Beautiful clear water. I just don't know if y'all can see. I mean, the spoon's got like a nice side to side action. And if you reel it in a little faster, it's kind of got this like spinny kind of flashy action. It just looks good, man. Honestly, a lot of things need to go into place for this to work. First of all, can we get it? near the proximity of a fish specifically hopefully a blue fish because blue fish they just see usually like shiny stuff or erratic action and you know they're down it didn't happen like that the other day at the pier i mean they were bumping it and stuff but either way in theory blue fish should want to eat this right secondly can we actually get them to bite it because they were just kind of kissing it the other day which was kind of weird i don't know man there's just a lot of what ifs we're gonna try real hard though. So the thing about bluefish and Spanish mackerel and all these different pelagic fish is that they just don't stop moving. I don't think physically they can stop moving. So the more I feel like you stay and fish one spot, the more chance I feel like you have of a school or one, you know, swimming by. Yeah, man, I don't really know. We're just gonna put our time in and hopefully this thing is shiny enough and flashy enough and enticing enough for something. All right, just grabbed the water. 
we're gonna do some walking. Might end up walking pretty far. It looks like you could drive onto the beach over here, but I just do not want to do that with this truck. <laughs> I know I said like, yo, let's stay in one spot, but we're gonna move around, I, I can't help it. I gotta explore a little bit. Look at this, man, this is freaking gorgeous, dude. Wow, I've seen this place on the map for a while, I've just never came to check it out. This is actually looking pretty interesting. I don't know if I really explained it, but this is basically a river that goes out to the salt water. Oh, there's lots of shells down here, might be some shark teeth mixed in. But yeah, I figured we'd just try this spot out because current and new and I don't know, possible fish i mean we caught one so far it's not a complete bust you can see how low this tide is right now though usually it goes all the way probably up to these rocks up here we got some life out here too look at this we're following these little little pipers i think there's actually a jetty out here too we could possibly throw some casts out i don't know what it looks like i don't know lots of uh beach jellies life could always be worse man you could be a beach jelly but well, we found the jetty we found the beach parking looks like a freaking walmart parking lot over there there's a few cars over on this side as well, but this jetty seems to go out pretty far. But what's interesting, it literally is just super shallow near the jetty. We'll try this. Dude, look at all these jellies. Freaking jellyfish everywhere. Holy crap. All right, let's see if anybody's around here. Oh my god, dude, no way, no way, we've got something on, dude, we've got, we've got a freaking fish on this, <laughs> no freaking way, man, it's fighting too, what is that, what is that, oh my god, wait, what is that, dude, 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 let's freaking go, let's freaking go, okay, 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 on the freaking lure that we made, this is a really nice sized bluefish too, I'm not even gonna lie, oh, Oh my gosh, that's probably a keeper. All right, get him washed off for a little bit. Look at that, man. Boom, let's go, dude. That's a keeper too. Heck yeah, man. Again, they got them crazy teeth, them crazy devil eyes. All right, buddy, let's let you go. You just made my freaking day. Oh, oh, oh. Uh-oh. All right, there he goes. There he goes, he's upright. Boom. Look how clear that water is right there. I don't even know what to say, man. Is this the best lure ever? Heck no. Between the pier, all around here today. Oh my gosh, dude. All right, we're gonna switch lures now. <laughs> Maybe we'll throw on one of them gotcha plugs. Just to see, man. It's been lots of casts. It was a struggle to freaking build this thing. We're gonna put it down now for a second though and uh, see what else we can get out here. Dude, I'm, I'm so happy right now. Oh, dolphin right out there. That was so cool. You guys probably didn't see that. Y'all were facing the ground. This is like our last remaining um, intact all trebles and everything gotcha plug again no offense to the lore we made but we did our time with it we had our fun i'm just curious to see if there's anything else around here now i mean dude the fact that one bit that that's kind of a good sign right maybe i should put a, a like actual spoon on All right, well, it's a little bit while later. I actually found a spoon in my bag. It's like an older kind of cast master. We're just gonna chuck this around a little bit. My arm started to hurt a little bit from jigging, honestly. <laughs> We've been doing a lot of jigging recently. The thing about this spoon, it's a little bit more of a slender profile like we were talking about. Hopefully matching, oh, dolphin right out there. Matching the hatch a little bit better. And it also moves more like a bait fish tied a little loop knot so it's got that like almost like a side to side like fleeing bait fish sort of action which our spoon kind of had a little bit but it would also just kind of spin out and do a bunch of crazy stuff had a nice flash to it though it looks good out of water too dude literally like not very far at all away freaking look at that dolphin right there you see that Oh my gosh, there's two of them right there. Dude, that's so cool to see. I just, I don't know, I feel like if there's fish, they're probably spooking the heck out of them. Dude, there's three. This is literal animal planet. This is really fun though. I mean, the more we learn about these areas, 
mostly y'all know, man. I mean, the channel name is First State Fishing. I'm from Delaware. So this is still foreign territory. But the more I learn about this area, you know, the opportunities that arise. I mean, during this time of the year, the bluefish are everywhere. Even in this river, you know. Bluefish are just fun. They can get really big too. I mean, we just caught a pretty darn nice one, but they can get really big. They're really feisty. They chase big lures, shiny lures. Ooh, I just had something follow right there. What is that? Is that a bluefish? Something small just followed us in. This water's a lot clearer than I thought it would be. Super hard fighting, super aggressive. You just gotta be careful with the mouse because they will tear your lures off and they will take your fingers off. Like literally like they will take your freaking fingers off, man. Those teeth, those jaws are serious. I'm seeing little things follow me in. I don't know what the heck those are. This is the cool part about it though. Like this is the beauty of the bluefish. You can go to a lot of different parts of the water right now, whether it's a river like this or beach or inlets or a lot of different areas and just throw stuff at you know you can catch bluefish you no know, one you know you could get slammed it's that zero to 100 like that like that literally like that i don't know what this is as always it, it, there's other fish around here too it's not just blues but this feels like a really good f we just lost it <laughs> well, that's what i say though just casting out and it's it's that zero to 100 feeling it's like addicting honestly as much as I love baiting and waiting and, you know, throwing bait out and doing all that kind of stuff, nothing really beats getting thumped on a retrieve. Oh, there we go. There we go. Oh, that's a nice fish, dude. Oh, that's a nice fish. Please don't come off. Please don't come off like the last one. I just want to know what you are. Oh, man. I loosen that drag up a little bit. This is actually a really nice freaking... What is this? Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, it felt a little nicer than it was. <laughs> All right, there we go. Safe uh, unhooking and release. Get back in there, buddy. I might have to help him. Nope, there he goes. Nope, oh, nope. There we go. Boom. Dude, these bluefish are freaking fighters, man. Why did that feel so big? Hopefully my screen's clean. I'm having a heck of a time this past couple of videos. There we go. They're smashing the spoon. <laughs> I think that's the small one too. That was a baby. That's the smallest one I caught so far. Yeah, right? Hello. Hey, buddy. How you doing today? Ooh. So you know what's pretty cool? Fishing spoons are like the oldest fishing lures. Some say they date back to 3000 BC. Apparently the ancient Romans used polished clam shells equipped with various types of metal and stone hooks. But in America, the progress of the spoon began in like 1834. Julio T. Buell. He's like the spoon inventor. He's the spoon guy. We channeled our inner Julio in this video. Story has it. In 1819, he was eating lunch on a lake one day and he accidentally dropped his teaspoon overboard. As it sank, he noticed like a twist and turn and it kind of, you know, look crazy and you know that's i guess how he made the fishing lure. my only question though what was he eating on the lunch in a lake that required a spoon when i think of lunch lake day i don't think spoon is involved anyway that was pretty fun man let me know if you guys want to see me try to create some other lures maybe some flies in the future and oh my gosh can somebody give me some tips on how to drill through stainless steel people make it look so easy i was using a lubricant with the drill bit i was making sure it didn't get too hot we got some like cobalt drill bits and everything i don't know chef first state never said he's freaking sally the spoon maker either way man i had a lot of fun in this video we explored some new spots we caught some fish and uh yeah man thank you guys so much as always for all the support if you enjoyed this video make sure to check out these ones on the screen we've been having a lot of fun recently and some really good fishing and really good cooking all i gotta say man let's keep this rolling thank y'all for watching see you next video well.